All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the grand experiment here. I am attempting to um, learn how to cook better. So I'm very bad at it. And this whole thing is an experiment in live streaming with a multiple camera set up. Good morning, Don. Oh, at least I know it's working. I'm kind of flying blind because what I would normally use to see what the camera is showing is, uh, is a sidecar on my Mac. However, that program is intensely uh, resource draining on the computer. So the CPU just spikes through the roof when I have a sidecar running. So I've tried to pre-plan my shots with the cameras uh, as much as I possibly can. Um, but we'll see. I mean, that's the, uh, the great experiment. And again, I apologize for the audio uh, because I'm using the built-in audio on the webcam, which is camera two. And uh, so it's not, not going to sound as good as it usually does. It's going to be all echoey and stuff, and I'm sorry about that in advance. So good morning, Don. Um, yeah, doing something a little different, trying something a little different other than just uh, uh, other than just talking about good news stories, which is, you know, good. We, we need reinforcement that the world is okay and it's not a, a horrible, horrible disaster every single day. But uh, yeah. Uh, I need to learn how to cook because right now Karina does all of the cooking, uh, which is great because she's very good at it. And my job has always been to just kind of clean as, as uh, you know, as her kitchen bitch, <laughs> essentially. And I'm perfectly happy to be that. But really, uh, I should, I should, should be better <laughs> at making my own meals in the kitchen. Uh, to be honest, before I got married, I was living on things that came out of cans. And uh, a meal that I used to enjoy quite frequently was spaghetti noodles with uh, Italian dressing. Seriously, yeah, that was, that was a meal that I made for myself quite frequently. So I have a lot of room for improvement is what I'm trying to say. I have no skills, no knife skills, no anything skills. So, yeah, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see see how this works. And good morning, Sean. Yo, welcome to the great experiment. So, if you're new here, I can see your comments uh, on my monitor here and respond to them. Not able to bring them into the show yet, but uh, I'm I'm working on that that part of it. So, so today I am going to be. Uh, attempting to recreate a dish that Karina makes for us when we're being a little more health conscious. I mean, I, we used the quarantine as an excuse to let all that kind of just go out the window and eat whatever the heck we wanted. And it's been delicious and wonderful and very bad for both of our waistlines. So uh, this, one, <coughs> this dish I'm going to prepare is something that we enjoy as our naughty breakfast uh, when we're behaving ourselves. So it's really simple, and it would be even simpler if I had uh, remembered to get all my mise en place in place. Uh, so now I have to turn my back on the camera and go get the eggs out of the refrigerator. It's okay, this is a learning thing, but it only actually takes one egg and one piece of toast and uh, some cheese, salt, and pepper. Pretty, pretty simple and actually not too high calorie. Uh, so I'll be right back. I'm going to go get the eggs because I'm an idiot. Thank you for putting up with me. All right have eggs. I have eggs. So just going to set those down for a second. Of course, the important part of any breakfast is the beverage. 
Normally it would be coffee. I've already had my coffee, so I guess it's time for tea. So let's go ahead and see if I can get the camera to show the tea setup. So if you guys do me a favor, since I know there's at least two of you that are watching right now, let me know how the volume is, because again, I have no idea what you're hearing, how, how good or how bad it is. Uh, so I'm really counting on, on you, Don, and you, Sean, uh, to, to let me know, one, that the signal is still working, that I'm still actually broadcasting and not just talking to myself, and two, if you can actually hear me well enough while I'm, while I'm talking. So I know that there's usually a slight delay in the program uh, between what I'm saying and what you're seeing. Okay. Volume is good right now. Good. Thank you, Don. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Sean, you're dropping the ball, man. <laughs> okay, so let's... Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll start the water boiling, and I don't need to show that because that's boring. And we'll turn on the kettle. So volume is bueno so far. Yay. Good. Excellent. All right, just turned on the kettle and... Uh, might actually hear that because the kettle is actually closer to the microphone than I am, so apologize for that in advance. So, how is everybody? It's Monday. It's Monday. The weekend is already gone. I don't know where the weekends go. I'm one of those people who still have a weekend because I do have a day job Monday through Friday that I go to. So, Saturday and Sunday I actually still have a traditional meaning for me and uh, <clears throat> excuse me it just flew by again uh, a lot of yesterday actually was just spent working out all the bugs on this so uh, like I'll show you give you a little preview here that's camera two yay so there's my frying pan it's nothing special it's a Calphalon non-stick pan I like it it's pretty good it lives up to its name. It's nonstick. Okay. I'm really worried now that I'm thinking about it because I can hear the kettle all the way over here. So. Let me move that because I think that's going to get really loud. Look at the pan. Here we go. Cooking shows are hard to do, as it turns out, <laughs> when you're not in the Food Network. So, yeah, just waiting for the water to boil now. Ah, Sean is sanitizing groceries. I am so sorry. That is the biggest pain in the butt. It's not having to wear a mask. Um, it's not, you know, dealing with people who still don't get the whole six feet between each other thing. It's really, uh, for, for us, it's really the whole having to sanitize all of the groceries when we bring them home that is the biggest pain in the rear. So, I hate that. Oh, just barely coming out of two back-to-back -back porphyria attacks. I am so sorry, Don. That is horrible. I, I know, I know that, uh, Acute intermittent porphyria is a very serious condition, and it's a very painful one, and I'm so sorry that uh, you've been having more attacks, and uh, I can only imagine that the, the stress of this whole pandemic and the quarantine and everything is just not making uh, that any easier on you, so I'm so sorry. Um, glad your cat... Uh, had butted you out of unconsciousness. Good kitty. Good kitty cat. Reward that cat. That's a good cat. But seriously, I'm so sorry. That sucks. And I, uh, 
I wish I could say something meaningful. What can you say? I mean, my wife has Crohn's disease and she's in pain every day and we just learned to, to deal with it because it sucks. And you can only say it sucks so many times, but it does suck and I'm so sorry uh, that your porphyria is just being uh, extra, extra mean to you these last few days. Uh, I am feeling good. I'm feeling okay. Uh, Karina and I are not sick. We're, we're doing fine. She's just dealing with her Crohn's and I'm dealing with my depression. And, you know, we're, we're getting by. The water finally boiled. So I'm going to move it back over here and then we're going to brew the tea. <laughs> this is our kettle. You know, it's a pretty standard electric kettle. Uh, for the mug I'm using, I use just over 0.75 liters of water that I boil. All right, so let's switch it over to the second camera. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to turn this around, so I'm, I'm sorry that you're going to get dizzy here for a second. And... Earthquake. Okay, here we go. So, uh, we, as you probably know, are really big fans of David's Tea. And uh, one of our favorites is the uh, Strawberry Rhubarb Parfait. And it's absolutely delicious. So, generally, what I do every morning uh, before I start the show is I... Uh, Let's do this so you can kind of hopefully see. <laughs> Doesn't take a lot. I do really appreciate David's tea for that. It's not too bad. So basically take uh, a heaping tablespoon of whatever the tea is and just put it in the filter basket. Easy peasy. I wish you guys could smell how good this is right now. It definitely smells like strawberry. Don't know that rhubarb has a taste necessarily, but uh, yeah. So we'll set that aside for now. And I guess I will, I'll go ahead and put my sugar in ahead of time. I use Splenda, we use Splenda, we love Splenda. It's the reason that I still fit into my clothes most of the time. And then these things are great, and they fit just about every size of mug I've come across so far. Just sits over the top there. And then uh, just pour it on in. Doo, 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 doo. That's good, I think. It's going to be a little bit of water displacement, and then it comes with a lid. The steeper basket does. That just helps keep too much heat escaping, although obviously there's going to be some heat escaping from the sides because the basket doesn't go all the way across, but, you know, that's fine. So this will steep now for about, uh, I would say, five minutes. It's really good, though, because this isn't a, a tea... This isn't a tea that uh, can oversteep, really. If you happen to forget about it, five minutes go by, it's not going to be undrinkable. It's not a very tannic tea. It's just, it's herbal. It's really delicious, but uh, you can't oversteep it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, good morning, Nancy. Hi, sorry, I didn't see you until just now because my uh, computer for the comments isn't over there. But uh, So sorry for Karina, it does suck. Yeah. It's Thursday. Thank you, Don. I appreciate it. Love strawberry rhubarb pie. Absolutely. Strawberry rhubarb pie is one of my favorite pies. It, uh, I'm, you know, thinking about pies. Yeah, strawberry rhubarb might actually be my favorite pie. It used to be cherry for a long time. Of course, Dad would always bake apple pies when I was a kid, and that's always good, too. But, uh, yeah, I really do love strawberry rhubarb pie. Can't have any right now <laughs> because the place I would go to is closed uh, for it. But hopefully it'll be reopening in the not too distant future. Okay. So, tea. 
while it's brewing, I guess I can start work now. I'm a noob in the kitchen, so my problem with this very simple dish, it's just egg on toast with cheese, is going to be timing everything so that the egg gets cooked at the same time the toast is done. And uh, yeah, I'll probably start, the, I should probably start the toast first, I'm guessing. So one of the things that makes this a little bit uh, lower calorie is the kind of bread that we we like. There's a Francisco International Sourdough. I can say that because it's not an actual TV show and I can say brand names and it's great. Elton Brown loves that if you ever watch his Quarantine Kitchen and you should. Uh, he loves being able to say brand names on YouTube because he can't on Cooking Channel or Food Network. But anyway, this particular brand of sourdough bread it's 120 calories for a serving, but the fun thing is a serving is two slices of bread, since I'm only going to be having one slice of bread, 60 calories. So that's really cool, and this is really yummy sourdough. Oh, Don says, if you've never had strawberry gooseberry pie, I should try it. I've never had a gooseberry in my life, and I don't know where I would find strawberry gooseberry pie here but I would be willing to try it um, because I love pie. All right, so guess what I will start with then is I will start with the slice of sourdough. And you know, it's a pretty decent sized slice and this is good sourdough. It actually smells like sourdough. Put that in my toaster and uh, something else I never realized before uh, and I think this is true, could be just another one of those so-called internet facts, but the markings on your toaster equate to minutes that it toasts the item for. Never ever thought about that in my life, but I, I do remember reading that somewhere. Uh, let's see, gooseberries grow in the Midwest. Spiky version grows here in NorCal. Okay, good to know. All right, so it's in the toaster. I'm not going to push I'm not going to start the toasting yet on there. I do need to spray my nonstick pan because as nonstick as nonstick pans are, they're not actually that nonstick most of the time. So, yay, Pam. Love Pam. So, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to spray it away from the cameras. <laughs> All right. So, I'll put that on medium. Normally when I make eggs, I make scrambled eggs and I, I have that dialed in. I can do really good scrambled eggs. If we decide we want to have scrambled eggs, Karina has me make them and usually she's the one that cooks everything. So I'm good at that. I This is my first time at doing basically an over medium egg and because I'm a coward, <laughs> I'm not going to flip the egg. I'm just going to try to steam it the last little little bit of the way into a medium egg. So the pan is starting to heat up now. I'm going to check on my tea real quick. Let's see here. Ooh, that looks pretty. I hope you guys are seeing this because, man, that's a pretty ruby red color. It smells amazing. I wish Wish we had perfected smell vision. I'll go ahead and just mix up the uh, sugar, Splendo, whatever. It's all the same thing. Probably should be doing this with a plastic spoon, considering this is a glass mug. The glass mug is also from David's Tea, and it's really cool because it has double walled construction, so. This is, you know, still pretty, pretty damn hot water. Sorry, I just cursed. Pretty darn hot water. Um, and yet you can actually hold on to it. And it just looks neat. I like it. So insulated mug for the win. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. So pretty. Okay, so got that. Ooh, 
Ooh. Yeah, that's good. It's uh, it's tart, so that's probably the rhubarb coming through because strawberry on its own isn't normally a tart thing. But that is absolutely delicious. So good, good stuff there. All right. All right, let's see here. Yeah, the pan feels like it's warm. So I will go ahead and no. <laughs> if I do it that way, it's not going to toast the whole thing. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Uh, four is probably a little long. I would, I'll start it at three minutes and see what that uh, gets me there. Okay, time for the egg. Ah, oh. forgive me for what I'm about to do, because I'm sure it's wrong. <laughs> uh, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to do something that they always tell you not to do, and I'm going to crack my egg on the side of the pan. So everybody says that drives shells up into the egg. I've cracked enough eggs this way that that's never actually happened to me. So, and that's a little hotter than I thought it was going to be. That's okay though. I'll turn the heat down a little bit, and then. Put just a little bit of water in there to help steam stuff. <laughs> Guess I should get a spatula, huh? That would probably be good. Okay, so that seems to be coming along. It's starting to set up. And the toast is done, so that's good. Keep letting the egg do its thing. Here. I have no idea how long a medium egg usually takes. It doesn't look like the white is really set, does it? It's still kind of ugly. Maybe I am going to have to try to flip this over. God, I'm scared though. Come on. No, Let's see. <laughs> okay. Bad at this game. Ooh, oh, 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 did I do it? I think I did it. I think I did it without breaking the yolk. I think I might have done it correctly. Okay, so I don't want it too done on the opposite side. I think that looks pretty good. So I will go ahead and turn the heat off. And I will evacuate it to the bread. Sorry, gonna get dizzy. We okay. Here we go. So I'm gonna take this off the heat because I need to do what I should have done already. And that is put the cheese on here. And the cheese we use is uh, Laughing Cow cheese. So this is pretty low calorie stuff if you get the uh, light version. Um, but even the, the regular version isn't too bad. So one wedge is 30 calories. 
and uh, uh, we like to use garlic and herb on this. Really good. Laughing cow. Krina has always called it happy cow, so generally that's what I call it. And yeah, I put a whole wedge of the cheese on there, so. And my timing on this wasn't great, so the toast has cooled down a little. But that's an actual, that's a lot of cheese, I think, or something like this. It's definitely going to give it a really interesting, you know, a good texture. So now, let's go ahead and pan here. And there we go. One hopefully over medium egg on sourdough toast with Laughing Cow creamy garlic and herb cheese. So I hope you can see that. Looks like it did an okay job. And then, of course, you need salt and pepper. Um, so just takes the pepper grinder and, you know, oh man, I didn't even have to grind it. There was enough pepper dust in the top. And then, whoops, sorry about that. There was not an earthquake. Get a little bit of salt. And there we go. All right, so... Uh, Give this a taste and see how badly I messed up. I sprinkle bacon bits and cheese on egg before I flip it. Okay, that's good. I like that idea. Uh, Sean says we call it a silly moo. Chicken on a raft. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Chicken on a raft. All right. So, let's go ahead and try this here guess I should, so you guys can see me cutting into this. <laughs> Looks delicious. You did great. Thank you, Don. Thank you so much. All right, let me, uh, I'll switch cameras so you can see me actually cut into the thing here. Let's see how done it is. Uh, let's see. Hmm. That's still pretty runny in the middle. I think it's okay though. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, the flavor is definitely there. These are good eggs. These are definitely good eggs. I did okay. Love eggs get, cannot eat them. Oh, I'm sorry you can't eat the eggs, Don. That's no good. Do you have an allergy to them? That sucks. I'm so sorry because eggs are great. I didn't like eggs when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is not bad. I think I did okay. I might have been able to, uh, to cook the egg just a little bit longer. I'm not sure. It is nice and creamy. Okay, Nancy, go ahead and PM me later. I hope you're doing okay. Mm. And the tea is great. I mean, strawberry, strawberry rhubarb is good, and it actually goes quite well with the egg. They make you sick, very sick. I'm so sorry to hear that. I do, I do love eggs. I'm sorry they make you sick. Have you tried, like, uh, any of the egg substitutes? Because we've tried that, just for the heck of it, and some of them aren't bad. You wouldn't be able 
to get like, you know, an over easy egg or over medium like this, but you could maybe at least do some scrambled dishes that way. Anyway, so that's it. <clears throat> that is the end of the great experiment. This was actually really fun for me. I, uh, I was a little trepidatious about trying to do all this. Obviously, there's a lot that I still need to work out with the production side of things. So I don't have to keep rotating the camera around. And maybe there's a way I can bring in a third camera. I'm going to have to play with that a little bit more. But if you guys like this, if you thought it was interesting, and uh, if you have any suggestions, basically, since I'm doing the show in the morning, I'm kind of looking for um, breakfast suggestions, since this is a morning show. Uh, and they need to be quick enough to where uh, an idiot in the kitchen, such as myself, could actually make them within about half an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, so if you have any suggestions, uh, go ahead and leave them for me in the comments. Keep in mind the uh, limited availability of some supplies because of this whole quarantine thing, but I'd love to hear from you. And if you had fun today... Um, do me a favor after the show ends it does stay up as a link share the link with your friends on Facebook on Periscope on Twitch uh, on YouTube uh, that would be great and thanks for joining me I, I hope you had as much fun as I did because I really had a ball this was really a lot of fun for me okay um, doing great and can make one hell of a strawberry rhubarb pie without all the fiber very nice all right well thank you Nancy for taking time out of your schedule to say hello. Thank you, Don. I appreciate you being here as well. Thank you, Sean, as always. And uh, yeah, I'll see everybody right back here tomorrow at 930 Pacific time uh, for Ken in the Kitchen. And uh, yeah, until then, uh, you take care. All right. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Can't believe it worked. <laughs>